Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be showing you guys something that's very, very exciting for me. I don't have any makeup on except for my brows right now. What I'm going to be showing you is something really exciting that I literally just got out of my mailbox. It is the new Laura Lee Boss Babe and Party Animal Palettes. I actually did get the bundle. It is right here and it looks a little bit like this. I love the bundle packaging. I think it's super, super cute. It's a party and hustle hard. Then you pull it and the palette it comes out. Same thing on this side. The unicartons are a little bit different. This is the neutral one and this is the colorful one. Can you see that? How cute is that? So yeah, I love this. I'm gonna be keeping this because I think it's adorable. I love this. So let's go in to this very first one. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I am planning on doing an eye look. That's why I didn't apply any foundation on today. I don't know if these have any fallout or not and I didn't feel like wiping everything away and redoing it. I don't know if I'm gonna do an eye look with the Boss Babe palette for today or if I'm I'm gonna do an eye look with the party animal palette today or I might even do one eye and one eye we'll see but first of all I love that let me show you guys the party animal palette first and that's what the unicorn looks like isn't that so cool okay let me get it out of the box like I said that's the unicorn of the party animal palette I love what she did with the packaging and this is what the actual colors look like you have a light green shade right here a really pretty turquoise this is a beautiful almost like royal blue a really bright orange. This is a really unique shade. This reminds me of a lipstick from Urban Decay. Actually, it's this one. It's Big Bang. It really reminds me of that. This is a lot more fuchsia, but the idea is the same. They both are that really pretty intense pink with glitter all over. Of course, it's beautiful purple, and this one isn't really sparkly, shimmery. It's more like satiny with a really beautiful shine. These are so pretty. And if you guys want to see any swatches, go to my Instagram page. I already have swatches up on there. My Instagram handle is selizondo95. So this is the party animal palette. Let me just show you guys a couple of swatches. I don't know if you can see. It's really pretty and very pigmented. They're really soft. These shades are so pretty. I don't know if I should get this video up on my channel first and then do separate looks. Make this more of a like a first impression video. What do I do? What do I do? Let's go into the second palette. That's the Boss Babe palette. So I believe they're not technically eyeshadow palettes. They're like it's a pressed pigment palette, which is like the legal term of saying it. If you don't want to wear these on your eyes, then don't. But I personally do. I wear purples and pinks and reds. Little stick might happen but I don't I don't mind this is the boss babe palette look how absolutely stunning it is and I actually really really am into this because I would definitely travel this is this is all I need a really pretty transition shade um, more of a warm shade if I want to build it up make it more smoky make it more dramatic and then a really beautiful brown I have swatched this one and it's really really dark which I like this next one is on the grind and then CEO I don't know if you guys can see the intensity of these shades oh my gosh can you see that that's really really pretty. I really like this palette. I kind of want to do a look with this. This is all I need when I'm traveling. It's the perfect palette. Oh my god, I love it. If you guys want to see a look with any of these shades in particular, comment down below. And if you want to see them on my eyes, then keep on watching. Okay guys, I'm going to start off with my same primer as always. This is the MAC Paint LA Paint Pop Primer. And I'm going to use this all over my lid to get a good base. The very first shade I'm going to be taking is this transition shade right here called Deadline. Look, I usually don't go in hard on my shadows. I love the undertone, I love the color, really happy with that. Now I'm gonna be taking this shade right here called 9 to 5. That's a lot less powdery, still somewhat powdery. That blends beautifully and effortlessly. There's the tiniest bit of fallout, but I, I could not care less. Look at how beautiful that is. This one has no kickback. There's very little fallout, and look at how pretty these shades are. I'm really happy with that. Now we're gonna go in with this shade right here called Locked Out. Now 
Now I'm gonna take on the grind and pack it onto the brush. And I wanna apply that into the inner portion of the eye. This is without any setting spray. Super pigmented. But I wanna try CEO as well. So I'm gonna apply CEO on the lid, on the center portion of the lid, and on the grind more towards the center. I'm gonna spray it a little bit. I'm gonna tightline with black. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera to do my foundation and my eyeliner. I don't think I want lashes with this. And I'll be right back. Just gonna take a little bit of this Urban Decay Br Beach Bronzer in bronze. Warm up the skin. To finish, we're gonna take a little bit more of on the grind in our inner corner. This is the final look, you guys. I really, really loved the shadows. They blend really nicely. They are very buttery and creamy. There was one shade in the Boss Babe palette, Deadline, that had a lot of kickback in the, in the actual pan, which I didn't mind because it blended really nicely, but it did have a lot of kickback, and I found that was the only one that had that much kickback. The uh, shimmery shades are really, really buttery. They are a little bit flaky, but they look absolutely stunning on the eyes. So again, I have absolutely no problem, no qualms with this palette. I love it, and I'm really excited to play with this one as well. It's very, very pretty. So if you guys want to look with that one, stick around, hit the notification bell, subscribe and like and comment and all those goodies, and hit the notification bell, that way you'll know when I upload videos and you'll be